Well, Lola, and welcome back to the Essentials EU Monthly, sponsored by STN Trading and Demos.tf. I'm Dom Kiem, and I'm here on the mic with Clank and Gammon Production to bring you the semi-finals of the Cup with Tiny Samaritans versus the Bus Crew. We've seen the Bus Crew, no, it was Tiny Samaritans for yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, I think we've was... seen both of them a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I think we've seen Ali's team, I think that's the bus crew then, um, play yesterday when, I think it was, what, the second last matches of the day? And uh, I don't I don't think they favoured too well. Maybe I'm, my memory served me wrong, because colours are the only thing I really remember things, and names are too hard for me. But uh, we've seen Time Samaritans play as well. I don't know who it was against yesterday. My, again, memory's not very good. You're the analytical person, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's... Bus crew and spirit more than anything. John and Martin, obviously, the core from last season, staying together for next season. But they're trialing a lot of people and they couldn't quite field a complete roster. So they just looked who's available for the weekend. And they found a couple of people that are consistently playing the weekend for them. But I don't think the synergy is off the charts. But they still have big names on the server right now. We have Poison, Lucas, Ali, Mon, Jon, and Martin, which... If you just see that, it's a lot of demo mains. So Lucas will probably be playing Scout, and I imagine Ali Soldier is what I saw last, uh, last yesterday. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case for today. We'll see. I don't see any medics so far on the server, but obviously Martin would probably do that then. And on the other side, Tiny Summer Returns, which I lovingly call News Project all the time, because News is making a team with like most of them, or at least he's trialing a lot of them. So there's some synergy there from the last few weeks. But uh, News himself is not here, so he can't support his boys in game. Instead, Smith will be playing the Devilman class, and the rest of the team will be Ixie, Domo, Crayon, Olga, and Raf. <clears throat> Solid lineup in the side of both teams. Not gonna lie. Yeah, you have the strong um, French soldier combo on Tiny Summer Returns. You have last uh, last time they played, we had Domo on Medic, which. While my, maybe uh, surprising to some people, seeing that they do have prem level uh, medic crayon on team, crayon is also an incredible scout, which is what he will most likely be playing today. So that is by no means a uh, heavy downgrade. I therefore was aft, got to have pushed it, not pushed the top. Finally changed that. Um, so it looks like, you know, teams seem to be, you know, it seems like it's going to be a decent matchup. Yeah, we have, obviously now our semi-finals is going to be best of three in this cup, and the three maps for this match will be Granui, Gullywash, and Badlands in this order, and we're starting obviously with Granui. I don't know who I want to favor in this. I do believe Tiny Summer Witness overall have the edge here, and on Gran as well. So that's my take on things. It still could be fairly close. There's big names all over the place, but I do think the synergy on Tiny Summer Witness that they do have, even if it's not as much, it's still more than on Basque, I would imagine. So I'm going to give them the win here. Uh, I'm just going to, if, who has the bigger names, therefore they win. That's that's my brain's uh, logical um, steps. Well, who are the bigger names in your collection then? Because there's Ali, a uh, Martin, Jan, Lucas. I mean, fair enough, they have Smear. And Creon and Domo, you know, Ali, you know. Well, not to undersell Ali's ability on anything but Demo, man, but he is not going to play Demo today, which is he's mostly known for, obviously. But we'll definitely see how well he will perform on whichever class he ends up playing, which I'm not sure yet, since he's just sitting around a snacker right now. Uh, I mean, although he's playing. Um, Soldier, again, big name equals my brain to think he's a god, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he can perform. It's Granary, it's certainly one of the most solely friendly maps we have in rotation. So, at least the map is a little bit in his favor, but the map only helps you so much if the team is actually supporting you. So, this is what it really comes down to in the end. There foes. Don't know if they're ready to. They're also the ready up question mark. The... Well, poison oh, moves back, so I don't know about that one. I'm just seeing Maybe. trash talk. Well, that's also not surprising. 
Can we report Henny for discrimination in chat, please? Uh, we're just waiting for them. And I mean, it's really hard to tell just based off the names, like who's going uh, going to do better because like these seem to stack up decently against each other, I would imagine. Like you have scouts XE and Crayon, which are great. And you have one on the other side, Lucas, who while not necessarily known for the scout, from the little bit I've seen, doesn't by any means seem back bad at all at scout. So nothing to laugh at now. Mm -hmm. But mate, the weather today is absolutely mental. It's like 18 degrees and I'm like dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm above my threshold. I'm three degrees above my threshold. This is not good. Are you going to survive the summer? No, I mean, tomorrow's going to be 21 degrees. I'm absolutely done for the morrow. I'm going to be fried to a crisp. No factor 50 is going to save me. Well, if we're not going to see you next month, then we know where you are. I'm the melted. I'll be a slush puppy, mate. That's what I'll be. Also, both teams are ready up now. Smyrna also tagged this team up as news in full caps, so now I'm wrapping the coach here. And yeah, first map of the evening, CP Granary here for the semi-finals. Bosco against Tiny Samaritans. And that moment is just trying to, but Smyrna is going incredibly weak at the exchange of going really, really fast. So he's first here. He sticks off Yon a little bit, only takes one stick off. Yon is more worried about the top area, but Raf just jumps through that, straight into enemy side, gets tight down. Mid air, Olga finds Ali in the meantime. Poison also just flying through mid. Not really getting much jump. Lots of damage though on that combo. They take out Ixie. Really nice early kills. And that team just slowly backing up. Crayon just taking the fight against two scouts, not surviving that. Nice by blue scout combo. And that team just forced to leave up all that damage. I know. Defo is just going to try and push straight into. They'll we'll stay into second, but they're just going to try and harass him in second right now. But they're going to. It's like Martin Poison going to be able to rotate right now into Z by the looks of things. Just kind of. But I don't know how pushable this is anymore. Yeah, they got kills on mid, but people are spawning now, and both medics do have full Uber, so no advantage to anyone anymore. And now is the time of year two where things will slow down, and you're forced to make a decision as to how to make a pushable advantage happening for your team. So, this is what both of these teams will be looking for. But on the defense, it's always a little bit harder. It's like Ali and that are going to go up in lunchbox and they're just going to try and see if they can get in the uh, walkway right now. They're not really seeing anything. Just kind of sticks there that they're hiding. Finally caught them out, so that's a good thing. Eddie taking a fight oh. and he gets taken down. That's the first pick. Can they do something with this though? Just a single kill, but often that's not enough. And John finds a quick counter frag onto Raph here. So I don't think anyone will do anything with that at the end. Uh, I mean, it's just waiting game still, mate. The uh, command of the second, what can you do? Well, Ellie's opinion on this matter is going spy and seeing if he can make a play from behind for his team. And nobody on the other team checks for it with a spy of their own, so this could catch them by surprise if done correctly. Walks right past the stick, so but thankfully, he doesn't have to worry if he's invisible, so yep, just you know, never know. Blind that he is, he is in like last round. I think they were spotted just at the shutter right there, seeing it open and closing. He's just kind of cutting about at the last yeah, thing. He definitely just spam damage around to see if they can accidentally find him. And he just went through shutter anyway, like that's the best way to be spotted, but he just goes for it. Yeah, Raf. Raf noticed. You know, he was shooting pipe there just to see if he can, you know, get a wee bit of splash damage out in alley there. But it looks like they're going to try and make a disrupt. Oh, Lucas. Ooh, not very. Really only as good as long as your team stays alive. But it still could distract them enough to make some moves forward and Ellie get some freedom behind lines. But the scouts are so aware of the situation. They're not letting Domo's back be unwatched. Oh, Ali was bumped. That's not very good. Oh, I can't do Mr. Paladin's plays. Just gonna get cleaned up by Xia right there. <laughs> well, Spider and Ralph also went down at the same time, so it's not like they didn't try to do anything with the situation on hand. But in the end, still a one for one trade here. Neither team taking huge amounts of risks. We hadn't had a while with more than one player down in a while now, and each team just taking it slow. Uh, yeah. 
I don't like stalemates. Someone do something. Just press W. I want to see what happens when that happens. I know you're going to lose it, but still. <laughs> well, that's exactly why they're not doing it. They don't want to lose this game with money on the line. Obviously, the price pool difference is so big from uh, third to fourth compared to second place, at least. So, you don't want to lose this game if you're in Nash Ruse. I mean, it's enough to buy a kebab, mate. Like, nothing wrong with that. Just 10 euros each. Oh, Olga, he's going on Z, in fact. Ooh. But why settle with one if you can buy, like, a 60 so? Uh, don't know. I'm yeah, thinking in a bigger picture here, and speaking of big Ali taking a lot of damage in Z, but still not enough. Obviously, nobody really trying to step out of line here. Also, I do believe, yeah, Ali switched to the Battalion's backup, so this is their approach here for this. Taking a banner, the 30% damage resistance, but Ali, uh, Ali needs to build that damage up first, so he is constantly peeking in and take at least a little bit of a risk here. Olga and, the, Olga and Poison taking a wee scrappy wee fight there just in Z, but doesn't he quite get in? Uh, they were both weak, but they just had to get out. Uh, Olga could have died there. He, that spam rocket, if it just did a bit more damage, it was a bit closer to him, he would have died. Maybe it was the battalion's backup that saved his arm. I don't know. Dropped down. He's trying to make something happen, and nobody's really watching. Yon is kind of in position to see something, so Ixie could get spotted here before he can do anything, but he could still just double you into Yon if he could see him and at least die with a demo pick. There he goes. Yon Yon's definitely saw it. It's that been caught. Oh no. Yeah, Ixi just goes for the backup anyway, he's just distracting behind. Lucas goes behind, he goes back to take the 1v1 and he just wins it. 1v1 oh, is not enough. That's just, that's another, that's another player down for the side. Yeah, Red, so I'll say that's gonna be a... Let's better get the second one! Oh no! <laughs> I expected the sticky trap a little bit further forward and either the mat down. That's a pushable advantage if I've ever seen one, and they're just gonna start going. Speaking of banners as well, Olga, just like Ali, also has Italian backup on his back, so they have at least a uh, defense up boost if they need it and don't want to use the Uber charge here. Oh my, imagine drop or oh, I would expect them to see those sticks. Oh my god. And they were so confidently walking in there as well to just take the fight into uh, the second point of the one pick for once, but instantly punished yeah, for. They are going to go straight in a second, they're up top. They're just they're, they're walking, or oh, they're going to use and just in. The scout's going to go in at last, try and get a wee flank on them right now. Uber was flashed on Creon again, he's taking a fight with, I think it's, I don't know, Colors or Mon, yeah it was Mon, but uh, he's not going to Creon got destroyed a pipe and then he shot by Lucas in the face. No damage resistance to save them there and which the banner has to pop, but not too much of any effect. The only person taking really much damage that did still die. Nobody else really did still. Raft taken down on the flank side. So, all going decent so far for the blue team. Yeah, I mean, I think they were a bit too aggressive there for their own good, a bit overconfident. And they still didn't find any damage on the red side, so. Yeah, but it looks like they're going to be pushing the garage now since they know they have like, a new brad. <laughs> Yon, Yon gets awesome. dropped. I'm going to walk across the point and look, he's going to try and get Ixie. Ixie, they're just... Nice rocket by Addy, direct the air. Oh, oh, no, that is still pushing. They're going to re-push now. Oh no, Uber has been popped on red now. They get Ali, no, they get Lucas, sorry, and they get Martin as well. He hits the kill bind. So they're just going to, I don't know, walk back into the setting. Mon's behind them right now. Not for long though, he gets taken down by the Demomans, where he takes that kill and drop that. Quick turnaround for the red team. Back in a position that is much, much more comfortable. Not too big of an advantage, and the spawners are back up. So if they want to make something happen here, they still need to get creative. And Lucas on the sniper class wants to prevent just that at the moment. So does Mon on, or Mr. Epic, as he's previously known as, on the heavy. See what happens here. They've got, they've got the heavy, they've got the sniper. They're going to try and... I mean, they have, what the, they have Ali quite aggressive up top right now, just spam them, the soldiers, when they come yeah, up. Man, I mean, pop, and it's definitely a red one, so Olga with his battalions leading the charge. They don't even have yet, they're just using the damage resistance to take this push in. Not being too threatened by the Optus, just yet. Popping late over the point, want to get into Martin's face, it doesn't even matter, they just threaten them so far back, and they have all the space on the point to win this round. That was quite, that was quite a good round myself, but I still made it at the start, but picked up at the very end. 
Yeah, definitely a much better banner usage than we had previously here. Just making so much space with that. And even if the medic did get headshot, it would have needed to be a charge one and not a quick shot because that would deal less than worth 50 damage with the banner up. Yawn instantly gets a stick and smear. He knows he's gonna roll out fast, he's gonna come out from catwalk. But it looks like, again, all got up in red crate then. Uh, just mm, spam. No one's got it. It looks like no one's went for the jump yet. But there is a. Oh, Ali goes in for him. <laughs> lands in the scout instead. Not very helpful for him there. But Raph does get taken out. Smear getting Martin. Oh, boy. It looks like the Ogre is going to drop with flies now. Luke is getting a pick on Smear right there. Bex is going to chase him out of the garage. Maybe even get him up because he's only 7 HP. Not really much you can do. Yeah, the entire blue team was just pushing this over the point, but nobody had eyes on the far left side. Smither just walking forward and finds a stray Martin all on his own. Really nice find by him and makes this bit win even better with a medic down on the blue side. Full app for Domo. And if they can have another successful push in the last, this could be a quick round if they if they can keep the pace up here. Yeah, I mean, now they're, they're going to need to build quite hard right now. I don't know why they're holding outside quite a building. <laughs> Not very good to do that right now. Especially when they've got, you know, 40 add, this add, sorry. So yeah, he's like... behind. Ooh. Not with drop dropdown play. Jumps the scout. Not much else for him to see the on second. He just takes a fight. Rob goes back as well. And Eddie barely survives, but obviously they know he's there and he needs help. Don't want to take a pipe, he was forced by the looks of things, and he's going to just stick it. Smear's just going to stick it shut up, but Uber has came out in the side of blue right now. They're going to be contesting the point quite hard, just going to walk right through second, try and get some damage off. They're not going to get him done. X extremely weak. Luke is going to get him in the end there, but Olga, <laughs> Luke is taking the fight Olga has been buffed. Not a very wise idea. He's just trying. Oh, Olga. Nice rocket, but it's still not enough. Oh, it is it is. Martin didn't have the beam on him. And Crayon actually oh, back, back out. Time. And he oh wins. my! They just kept fighting, and nobody had eyes on the cap time to realize Crayon was just winning that on his own. Woo. The team definitely way more objective focused, and you usually see, but it works out. Muse has been teaching them big boy strats. Well. Basku needs some even bigger stats here to make this magic true on lead. Granui can slow down tremendously if he wanted to. It looks like Olga. I don't know if he's ready to go in for. He's just getting spam out so far. We see Raf in the garage. He was going to look for getting Bobby's getting spammed out, unfortunately. Not enough health to go in. But it looks like just usual mids. No oh, Ali does go down right there. This smears pipe. But Yon is quite weak himself. Crayon's going to chase him down. It doesn't quite get him. There is a, Lucas next. Oh, no, they're all dropping. Domo gets picked up by Mon as well. What's happening? Who won't win? Well, why? Creon's still behind. What? The control point is being contested. Really nice bit fight. They eventually made the first move here, Buscu, and it paid off. They found the quick picks they needed. Nice focus fire. And will Steamroll that advantage they have now forward all the way to last? August sniping really close to the shutout order. there. But there's Dix as well, who will find damage first? Nobody, in fact. Olga goes for a shot. Six being dead, nobody dies. And he just moves back to a much more safe position. Like just one in Crayon, in fact, is with the sniper now, so he's on the sniper class. And Olga back on Soldier with an engineer on last as well. So gonna be taking through pipe right now and Mon just completely go in for the soldier, but Yon gets out the sentry. They're gonna chase the demo, smear up really weak, gets cleaned up by the pistol. <laughs> bye bye, Domo, RIP him, Creon also going down. It's just two up right now. They've got no heals. Axie's the only one who's like somewhat healthy and that's um, that's another that's a round to the boot. Yeah they needed that. Just a really quick round of a mid fight after two Somewhat slow ones that just took a long time to get into a good position for this tiny sun return. So, Basku back on the board, but they need some more of those. And midfight obviously is the best way to get a meaningful advantage here. But Smurl is still going really fast to so just have the edge on Yon here. There we go, fast for his own good. No, no, he's not. He's getting good sticks on to Yon right there. Sticky snipe and smiley face. But Raf goes in for a bomb. No luck there. Gets cleaned up by Lucas and Mon. Lucas is just going to walk across the point. Mm, going to try and actually back out. Olga going in, in fact. He's going to go in the red crate right there. Watch it. Smear. Take it. Take out. 
by Poison. But they're going to try and get out. They've lost three players. Oh, because we axed out only Ooh, one. Big by Poison. Oh. Double just all on his own. Can he escape? Two scouts on this tail. But yes, Ruff spawning with him. So Ruff's early death comes back to help out in the long term here. And in general, just really nice mid fight fight. But just waiting for people to come their way and just kill them without even making too many big moves on grid at the beginning. So works out for them. But both maps did, did stay alive. Big fight on second. That's you. Your poison gets taken down. Uber gets forced out of Domo for it, and that's worth it in my book. Nah, it's going to definitely worth it, although they've got two down right now. That Uber advantage is, is going to play quite nicely into the side of the blue team right now. They look like they're going to take... Oh, <laughs> Shmi! Oh, <laughs> pretty much, Lucas just had to scatter him down with a small shot there. That's a devil mm. And they definitely wanted to throw things into mid to get the force out, but that dream is just dead. Nah, they're definitely just going to be... They, they should be aggressive. Martin's just kind of dilly-dallying without healing anyone right now. I'm gonna be. Looks like they're gonna be pushed through Z, in fact. Just yeah, yawn on the point. There's, there's not too much the red team can do about yeah. that without anybody in position to force in the first place. They just play it safe, get their own Uber, get a sentry up as well. They don't quite have it, but the Uber pushed into last is still on the way. Sentry takes some damage, taken down, but is being destroyed. Olga takes a lot of damage as well, but Uber's there. And it's a big fight, and so far it's looking much, much better for finding some Uber having to pop late here. Solly's permitted though, wanting to get onto double one rocket, not enough for Eddie. <laughs> Can poison do it though? He's going oh, he to does. Although it's a white med does go down on the side of the red team, which is quite good because Martin's just going to spawn, so that's going to give them a nice, comfortable advantage, I would say. And the numbers aren't that terrible to decide to take a fight here, but spawners are still, I think, just quick enough for Tiny Summer Rhythms to not have to be immediately worried about a repush by the blue team into second, so. Major crisis averted, but. And Uber, small Uber alone is clearly not enough to just take this for a full round, let alone second. Please don't be another second stable, please don't be another second stable. The... Oh, Raph and drop down. He's waiting for someone to come up to the lunchbox. Let's see if he can spot out Ali. Ooh, Ooh he's, he's not, not shooting. He takes he's waiting. He waited for the right moment. Oh my. Mon comes up and does two shots him though, so oh. counter frag got really quick there. Almost has his Uber, and with one down each, it's not the worst idea. But given how close to oh, the oh, Yon, <gasps> get smeared, Yon gets smeared. He's just gonna that's just a good opportunity to walk in. Oh, they do just oh, they do just get Uber on the side of Red right there. But that's uh, not the uh, good pack. But now that they've got Uber this side, it's not really gonna be the best idea. The only part here is that they have kept the points, so or back yeah. up to the stand, they need to worry about that. They need the charge with the battalions back up, poison on top, taken down immediately by Olga. And people are still back to watch back up, and nobody's really going for it right now. Everybody just waiting at Shudder, and Uber still hasn't been popped yet. Now did Ruff had to take down, but oh, the charge straight at the button. But the back up, one gets would... take, nobody on the point. No, why would you not watch that? Seems bad, man. Back ups are the way to go here, apparently. Just a little bit of cap time was needed as well on second, but they just didn't have it anymore because they were chasing the kills. Uh, we are way past half time at this point, and it's a tight game against the Busku has slightly make the comeback here. Ooh, just, oh, uh, kind of gripping up and catwalk right now. Mostly people are going to be ready for jumps. Ali Conan for a high bomb, a very, very high bomb. Just on the crate though, he, he's really weak. He doesn't quite get wrath, but Poison gets smear, which is a good pick so far. Both soldiers are going to be jumping in inside of Poison. Olga gets Poison back. Creon's going to get Yawn as well. Oh my. Really nice level bomb by the Red Soldiers, and it grants them enough to cap mid and at least get into yard, if not get second straight away. They are definitely trying with the soldiers and the medic already being on the point. And not enough spawners yet up for the blue team to really contest them here. Oh, Ali, Lucas is just in. They are going to use Uber, in fact. Also, they're going to go and trade. Yeah, they're going to go for a trade, in fact. Just kind of... Oh, that flash wasn't very good. Lucas is stuck. Ali's off behind and Z, he comes in now. Finds himself straight for the wrath, gets the kill. That's one, at least. And they get more of this. Ali gets cleaned up pretty quickly there. The scouts rotate over to the left side as well. Leaves Olga and Spinner alone on the other side though, and 
blue team wants to push them out of that. Get Crayon, who just came over on XD as well, taking down at the same time. All the gold going according to plan for the bus crew. Yeah, with three picks, and one to go to have two late spawners. This should be a good, 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 good reason to push. Push? Yes, push. Push and boots. Yeah, just taking a bit pretty cleanly off of the fight on second. Pretty much even Uber, so I don't think anybody will have any momentum keep uh, keeping in any direction here and heading into a little bit of a stalemate. Uh, X is just kind of watching Garage right now. Just kind of cutting a bit in there. He sees him, he spots him, and Wrath comes to back him up. Yeah, we got spam going. It does look like they are going to be pushing Faye Garage. And yeah, throwing Ali in to see if he can do something, but so far he's just kind of stuck there. <laughs> he gets killed for it. Lots of damage damage as well. Not quite enough to kill poison, oh, is it? Oh, it is. Remember, finds the sticky. That's two Sollies down. Another reason to push, and they're not. Oh, they're going to go be going through the left side, in fact. And Olga going to go into the jump. Doesn't quite get him. He's just going to force them out as well as Raph. Just going to jump on red, uh, blue crate, sorry. Just get a wee bit of spam into the choke. Ali sniping from the forward spawn. Classic position to snipe from, to the point where most people just try to take the other side of the yard to get into second. But seeing as it's a stalemate right now, somebody might just peek his sideline, so he's playing it with that. Ruff tries to get just in onto Martin, but Lucas is there in time to deal with that jump. Good defense from Lucas right there. Martin took very little damage. I mean, it looks like we have pause, I would imagine. Seeing as there's people just floating with air, so one kill has been had. Ellie moved out of forward spawn, so I think that's just what they want to rely on at the moment. Just throw the sniper in. Grant doesn't have necessarily the best sidelines in this teammate, but you can just walk in and tr hope for the best that you don't get killed immediately. So maybe that's what they're hoping for. Ah, it looks like pause, tactical pause, boys. Got to get that. I get the strats that aren't just back caps worked out, ironed out. Yeah, Ellie's just heading straight for choke, so he wants to make something happen from this, but given the sideline, he can get something, but not anything huge. He has, if he went through choke, a sideline on Olga and Ixie at best, unless he gets way further in than he should ever be allowed to be. Hmm. Otherwise, Ralph just died, so his spawn time is still really long. So that's also worth keeping in mind here. And yeah, everybody just having pretty standard position on Tiny Summer with them. So let's see if Ali manages to hit a shot. He's going for it, he's peeking. The top energy gets all oh, yeah, that's an extender. And the second kill here, and they make some moves with that. Oh, Uber has been used on the side of red right now. My HUD's broken, so I'm gonna need rely on my eyes right now. But Smear gets taken out by Lucas. The brothers has been popped on both sides, so... Looks like there's gonna be just a scrappy fight. The poison's quite weak right now. Wrath does go down. Or is down. Is he down? No, he's back up. My heart's lying to me. Why am I relying on it? But it looks like it's a white from the side of red. Oh, we are getting cleaned up late here. Really nice Uber fight. They... Uh, tiny some reasons. Wanted to just take the initiative here, but Martin wasn't forced as quickly as they needed him to, so they had him quite a bit by the Uber and just dealt really good damage post Uber to the other team. Helped out quite a bit with the post Uber fight and helped them win this for now, leaving them with quite a bit of advantage 50 60% into last. They are already on 80, so they won't even have much waiting time here. Sentry might not even reach level 2 here in time. I don't know. The Uber advantage to say the blue is going to be what they're going to be definitely playing on. They are going to be going on. John straight in for the sentry and the <laughs> grenade. Oh my god. And get sneered as well. It's like, look, it's just on the point. Talking about caps that. That's a. That's a. That was swift. That was big. And this is where the pause happened as well. Yeah, 3-2. Basco in the lead for the first time here, managing to claw it back from 2 all with this really clean and effective last push. Let's see if they can keep going on mid low. Uh, it's just the usual demo sniper shot. Oh, Ali straight away. Mon as well. 
That means Raph is going to go in for counter bomb. Ooh. Yeah, and everybody else is just out of there. They don't want to have to do anything with that without a demo man. Understandable, but blue team, nice dash in there, seeing as Ali won, uh, not Ali, Smither even, went quick and weak every mid fight. They abused that perfectly, just focusing him early before he can get any health. Early demo death, and then it's just a matter of forcing them out quickly, and that wasn't too much. Ooh, oh my god, he has a nice kill there, but he's so weak. He can't keep fighting there, and the single oh. is probably not enough. They get him as well. Oh, they even Hash could have been taken. They're taking a fight here with that. I guess it will be worth it. We got two picks right now. The spawners are going to be just up in a few seconds. And he just finds there. himself on last alone though, and Crayon just walks over that with the pistol. Oh, no, 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 Ooh, Ali in fact, quite weak, getting caught out there. Yeah, and it's still even Ubers, nobody had any advantage to begin with in that situation beforehand. Uh, no team just kept pushing and they look like they still want to keep going with that, but they take a lot of damage to choke. Yon goes down, fork with a crayon kill in the end, so one for one trading. A demo kill is obviously a little bit more worth it, but you're still down one as well, so it's not a huge pick. Work up and Mon going down here to everybody just aggressively in the garage area. Yeah, also the Ubers are both traded again. They're just Raf, Kerr behind, somehow gets that far without dying with the scouts. Finally gets cleaned up with the rocket by poison. Ali's just in. He looks like he's going in deeper. Uh, he's getting shut down by the scouts. Look, he's walking, pressing W. Right, they managed to defend success from that with a nice little Uber exchange. Again, no Ubers on the field anymore, and not any significant advantage in really playoff. So, let's see how they approach this. So far, the Blue Soldiers are just throwing damage over into the second point, and finding mixed results. People go weak, nobody dies. So, they see themselves out of there, just building the Uber, playing it safe for now. And once that is back up on the field with the Uber charge, they will probably start making some real plays here. And given a little bit of time left, they don't need to really make that risky moves uh, that much of a risky move anymore. They just need to just see if they can get any advantage really easily. And yeah, with this little time they left, they can just play it safe. Yeah, that's... Ooh, Raph gets caught out in the air by Ali and Poison. So he was going to go try and, try and go from Martin to the lunch. Oh, Poison gets caught out by Axie. Yeah, Ali is in! Oh! That was a double, but it's not enough. And both Solis have been taken down successfully in defense of Domo. So now it's the red team's moves to make here. They don't have much time left, four minutes. Bring it all the way back to the other side of Granary on an even newer situation. Sounds like a lot, but really isn't all that much. And Mon makes it a lot harder by just dragging people behind. It does get cleaned up pretty quickly on this backup attempt. But it gives the soldiers time to be back up on the field. Who's sticky trap from Yon takes out all your makes this attempt on the push much, much worse. Crayon is just in though, takes out your net one life, Ixi gets taken on in return, fight continues, two down each, Red is still in this and wants to take the Uber exchange, but it's not looking too great for them now. Yeah, Uber's... Ooh, Lucas is still in, in fact. Ooh, he gets Crayon. Not bad, but it looks like... are gonna be... That one looks stragger there, just getting a wee focus there, but... They are just... There's only three up right now, they're gonna need to just get to last. Oh, Ali goes in and gets caught out by Ogre, there's no plot. Oh, I thought he would get hit with an airshot there. Didn't we just create him? The blue team just keeps sending in people on last. They want to let the Domo kill, but it's just not happening. Poison, Lucas, both taken down. And with that, only three up on the field. There's sticks on second, but that's not enough to defend the point alone. Right, I like to point out Martin nearly died there. He walked in, but he never, you know, did end. But Yon getting sticks off. Mondry clean up on that damage. Yon has been putting out there, but they're all quite weak and they're all in Z, which is not a very good idea. Uber has to be. Uber was forced, in fact. They're going to try and. Meet. They're going to need to get out now. Yeah, it looks like Musk is still after that season to last. Just has to control right now and 
what's the topic for them. And in fact, they now have a full Uber ad to push with. Oh, they're going to use Uber right now, and they're going to need to focus the Heavy. Heavy goes down instantly, as per usual. Olga and Raph are up top on the pipes, and more than that, are just going to be on the point. And the pan comes out by Yon. That's another round, 4-2. Bosco establishing a lead that's with just two minutes left. Really, really difficult to come back from. I'd say impossible. Well, we've seen it happen before, but they need a mid win that is really convincing now. That looks like Smear fast once again. Oh, Yon was really weak. I've just got the pack of time. Ali going straight in. Right in. Doesn't Raph as well, he's he's going to create a, a belter. Olga's going to go in. Go for, in for Martin. Martin's really, really weak. But he's going to try and get out. He's going to get chased by Olga. Can he hit the rocket? Is he going to get fragged? Nope, he does get fragged. Martin gets fragged. Not only poison, he gets scattered out a bit there by XZ. So, bit win indeed, but it did take quite a bit of time. The question is, is it enough for the red team to still make it? They're definitely trying, they're just playing it quickly. Capping mid, capping second, straight into last, don't even have it. Don't care, they don't have time. Oh, they just walked right on. That was the solid minute round. What's happening Nobody here? Maybe the blue team just wants to give them hope and are going to turtle really hard right now. But we've also seen that one fail before. But That's it's just a minute, right? so it's going to be... They're going to be really hard for us for time to still make it happen. The blue team just just really needs a mad kill on mid to make it the complete end of this game here happen. Uh, Yawn, and choke, spam out, smear. I'm trying to get spam on him. Just... Oh, Raph going straight in on the boy crates right there. Olga looking, going for a jump. He goes in. He doesn't quite get in. But Ali getting Domo as well. Nice pick for Ali right there. Poison getting Olga. Yeah, and you can see the blue team just don't want to take the risk to begin with. They're just playing it safe, leaving mid early. They got Domo. They just need to get Martin out of this. And that's what they're playing for. And they're getting kills one by one. Raph down, Ixie down, Crayon might not die, but he also can't really contribute to anything once he's out of the fight anymore. So this is GG, game is over. Match one, or map one even. Close to the bus crew, 4-3 in a close fashion. TP Granary. That was a good first round. Very good. I must say I'm positively surprised by what the bus crew has to offer today. Yesterday, well, I think it was Aura Electra completely destroyed them yesterday. I think that was who it was. Yeah, it was them. Because they were both like a mix. Uh, but it's far from over yet because there is a best of three after all, so it's at least one more map. If Tiny Summer Regions win that one, it's going to a third map as well. And the next one will be CP Gallywash, so quite a change of pace for sure. And maybe it just happens to favor one of the teams much more than the other. Obviously, I don't necessarily know whose map pick this was, but it was a close one, so. I don't think it matters for this much as much as it will for the next map. Uh, we can look at the logs if you want. Sure. Let's take a look. I mean, straight off the back, Lucas with 25 kills and 9 deaths. Fraga. And Olga as well. Olga was doing a lot of damage this game. Like 9k, 9.3k damage with like 322 DPM. He was doing work. Well, sadly, not quite enough. And we did have quite a few backups here, so damage might not actually say everything here. Unfortunately uh, for him. Well, it did perform pretty well. Obviously, the stats can you just tell you that much, but. I mean, you mentioned Lucas, obviously, that's a really great performance. And yes, it might be a soldier-friendly map, but that doesn't mean it's a bad scout map by any means. And if you get anything away from this, then it's Lucas's and Mon's performance here. Ah. Even then, like, the med as well. Um, Martin did drop once, um, but Domo just 
all around is just better healing. So, unfortunately, that doesn't really matter because uh, back caps are a thing, and you know they lose the game. You can't heal away a back cap. You can't heal. Up, you can't heal the point to slow down the back cap. Well, even then, they weren't close to the point, which is why they got back up in the first place, though so he couldn't have healed the point in the first place. True. Well, that is actually, now that I look at it, though, a pretty big difference in terms of kills and damage team wise 64 to 83 and uh, 32k compared to 36k with a game this close. That's quite interesting, actually. Mm hmm. Um... We have a switch map, so that's pretty good. That's a good start. Well, the next map is certainly quite a bit different from Granary as it's CP Kali Wash. And if I've ever seen something on this map, it's usually pretty big demo man sets. So Jon and Smyrna are certainly tasked to do pretty well here unless they want to be overshined by the other demo man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got to change the whitelist. I'm surprised. I'm not seeing an ogre pyro yet, and you're probably seeing this map. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not the pyro expert by any means, so I leave that up to <laughs> all the guy himself to debate. But in my opinion, Granary is just not a great pyro map, despite what it might seem like if you just think of something that's a good solely map. I think that Gallywash lends itself quite a bit more to just being pyro a bit in that regard just much smaller and the pyro doesn't have speed short range compared to these. So you want to have stuff close to you with less distance to cover. That helps a lot. And you have mild options to use the detonator to just jump up onto the upper area on second, up drop down as well if you want to be really sneaky. I mean, there's one thing, I mean, I, like, I quite like pyro and golly last because you can just hold riverside and just throw pipes back at the demo if you yeah, exactly on the out. last point as well so much stronger both offensively and defensively to be honest like yeah. you mentioned defensive your course you can just airblast stuff away everywhere um but also you can just like walk to the point airblast people away or it's a small point just burn everybody down that wants to come your way also it's good for just denying especially in galas because Gal I'd, I'd say galas is like the best place to play pyro arguably up there with bad hands last yes because if the soldiers jump in for Riverside, you can just completely shut them down. Like, that. Gone. Finito. Also, a player favorite is um, just park your pyro in front of your sentry gun and, like, not have it die whatsoever. Yes, you lose the ability to airblast people to not get into last in the first place, but if they can't deal any damage in last, then what are they doing once the fades, basically? Pre-game frags. Also, we have Sorex in now. Ooh. Sorex in who is out though? Mon. Ooh. Well, we could make long debates on who does better scout here, but bottom line is they replaced one great scout with another, so... If anything, so it's pretty even in the end. Both like flanking. Obviously, Mon we had with the backup earlier, Sorex just likes going in at times as well, so we'll certainly fit the place though. You am annoyed at see, see in the UK they had Walker's 70 years edition and they've removed barbecue beef I think and I can't find them because I want the taste of the two thousands again. Although it was the nineties it was like, it was like <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about man. I know but you, you need to understand mate the taste of barbecue beef walkers were so good. Right, mate, I got the taste of that again in 2018 of barbecue beef on a piece. Or barbecue beef on a piece, mate. It was so good. Somebody get this man some help, please. Don't say that again. Okay, we are just waiting here. We had a little bit of sniper now that I just see XE here in. The pre-game sniper a little bit tried on both last. Obviously, last is pretty good for sniper on snake, but that is basically where it ends. Gallywash, on the other hand, lends itself to quite a lot more sniping. Last is good, second is good. It is decent as long as you have some strats down for that. So all around, you can, if your team knows what to do, you can pretty much play a sniper at any point for a decent effect. 
much more so than on Granui, in my opinion. So maybe we'll see a lot more of that if teams want to. And given the pace of the last game, at times it wouldn't surprise me. One heavy inch sniper in mid. Just do it. Do see why not. Oh, the ancient heavy strat. I haven't seen that. Oh, golly strat, boys. I mean, I've seen old demos where people try it, but I've also not seen it succeed. So <laughs> I would like to see that. Just run with a fist of steel. It's unbanned. Do it. Oh, yeah, just like have people look at the Fist of Steel heavy, shoot him, it doesn't do anything, and then you kill them. Let them walk on point. Go. What can test last? Just get a heavy with the Fist of Steel. Who needs damage? And then your Sydney Sleeper Sniper is just shooting everything. We seen that yesterday, in fact, with the Sydney Sleeper. It didn't work <laughs> out very well. Yeah, my favorite moment with that was just somebody trying to kill our Sniper with the Sydney Sleeper, gets a shot, it deals 150 damage, doesn't kill, and he just gets body shot by the Machina. Yeah, that's so yeah, that also a lot. But that doesn't like tremendously change how you play, though. That's just like a stronger sniper rifle in most cases. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you have to worry a little bit about not like standing behind people, but like it doesn't matter too much. If you get shot, you get shot. I mean, I don't think you need 500 damage headshots and sixes. Um, don't know. Is it 500? It's 500, 500 and something. Well, Never either way, know. the only class that matters to is a buffed heavy, so... With the Fist of Steel, you can counter it now. So, there you go. Actually, I try to think of something. How uh, how much damage resistance do, uh, do the miniguns have that do give you mini, uh, damage resistance, which would be the... What is it? The Brass Beast and... The uh, How much damage resistant is that? And does that make a difference for playing against the Sniper? I don't know. Well, that would be really stupid to see come into play, so let's go. Doesn't what half the damage or is it like twenty percent of the damage? I think it's twenty percent. I'm waiting on one more to join, so last one to join here. It's a soldier, which was poison. He was on the server just a minute ago. Like on Gallywash as well. So I don't know what's up with that. Crack my wrist at a belt on my. That's painful. If somebody wants to mark for a busco, please message them. Message them. looking for a soldier right now. To take the place of poison for this game. <laughs> Either that or poison timed out, in which oh, case no, they still could do use with a mark. Ah, he's oh, joined yeah, us. He's back. He has returned. So Schmier ready and up straight off the back after seeing that Poison has joined the game. It's just a matter of minutes now. To get the second man on the way here. Obviously, best of three, so Basku could just close out this series here and now on this map. CP Guy Wash, however, I do believe <laughs> Tiny Summer Ritens want to have something to say about that and want to make it to a third map to get into the finals and get a chance of the big, big prize pool we have here. I love money. I think but they do too, so they don't want to lose. So it looks like straight off the bat, Sorex on the point, and <laughs> XE just straight in. Oh my. He's going in. As a soldier, it looks like Raph is under. He's going to try and go in. Ooh, misses his rockets. Doesn't quite like, get the scout. But it looks like the set of reds already lost. Four already, it almost went down, oh my. It's only Olga left, he jumps up, well, can he find Martin, he gets one rocket, oh, this is the second one, he's gonna kill him, he will! Alright, he's on. The card kill. Maybe too late, but definitely not too little, so Matt Kill had advantage in their hands, but mid lost off the back of the mid fight here yeah, anyway. So Olga more or less with the damage reduction here, but his team will gladly take that. It will be at the, the very least 25 at this point. That's a nice comfortable ad. This is a bit like, yeah, 25 as you said. So they, they can contest second now, comfortably. So just, you know, they're gonna, it looks like both teams are gonna be... Mm, yeah, they're gonna be building. It looks like Lucas is just ready, but Mark's not giving him any attention. So yeah, small ad for the tiny summer returns. I don't know if it's enough for them to want to make a move off of this though. And all of the Busco is just ready to await them on second. So is Ali, who sees them coming oh. from drop down. Oh no, this is not very good. But they now have Uber, they're going to need to get the medicine as well. Oh, Domo is extremely weak. 
Oh my. He's still holding on to that Uber. He's still just cutting about. Wrath. They're getting and the space here. Actually, yes. Ellie is behind. I don't think anybody's still no crayon has eyes on it, but Domo is so weak already. Ellie don't oh. have the shots though. In the end, gets taken down Domo, staying alive on 50 health. Getting the space here the way he did by just pushing them into choke. While kiting Domo into Victor to not die. It works out in the end for them, and they take mid without having to use the Uber here. Yeah, also they're going to be rotating to big door right now. Um, trying to get some space made there. We do finally see them coming through the big door, and they'll just kind of ease their way in. Oh, mm. as well, straight onto Martin. Does he find the rockets? Yes, he does. In the end, Martin gets forced. They're also going to take it through the big door, uh, but they're all just going to hold their side of point right now. Ali goes in for the jump. Scouts deny him. Yeah, they're just waiting for Raf to be back up on the field, and then they're ready to go to push into second. And the blue team needs something to make this push any worse than it will be. So they're going to be in choke now. Uh, Domo's just kind of being a bit, being a bit, you know, safe, looking about these teams. But I uh, poison jumps and uh, oh, he will crater for sure. Never mind. Axie nope. just takes it out mid air. Nobody else is really committed, so they just had the single play. And soldier jumping a soldier. Well, you definitely much rather want a medic. It's not going to end too well. So one down and still push with advantage for the red team. They're just charging in through main, taking over the point into Yon and Ellie under the point, but I don't think they expected two people there. Doesn't matter, none of them are quick enough to block it. Yeah, most of them just walked on the point. Um, that was like five type, five cap, five times cap time, so it was like Scout and whoever. Makes you wonder why you even use Uber at that point, if you can just walk in and cap the point. True. Well, they're taking this quick round, well, relatively speaking at least, and that leads us straight away to another mid fight. Let's see what they have in store now. Oh, Raph does get caught out. Sorry for yawning, but he has now been dropped down. He's up behind him. He's going to lose. Oh, he's in choke. Yeah, scouts see them. You see him, but you know they've lost two already. And they said, "Oh, Raph." Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Raph. Oh my Lucas God. down. Might not help them much in this situation, but it's still nice to look at nonetheless. Oh, Yon. Might be in a lot of trouble. The Olga on there doesn't hit the rockets he wants to though, and Ali is there in time to help. Yeah, Olga, you uh, he, he caught it by Ali. If Olga had never went for Ali, he may have got Yon. I don't know. But now that the poison's there, they're going to be moving into Victor. Yeah. And these kills they got at the end, the Tiny Summer Ritons, while they were already on the back foot, actually helped them so much. They didn't have to back up all the way into Shutter. So they can keep second for now, which is really valuable. That's a lot of space that they got back there really quickly. Yeah, they see that Smear's just trying to get a bit of spam out in Big Door. He knows what they're doing. There is two in choke right now. The soldiers, even with them, as we speak. But they think, oh, why would you walk in at this sticky trap? Smear gets Sorex and actually gets Ali. That's two, that's three picks in fact, to get poison as well. They're I want to call this a triple sack because that seemed like they wanted to do that all at the same time, but they clearly didn't want all of them to die at the same time. So, didn't quite work as planned. And with that, three picks, you can't really hold anything. It sticks in the cone now, but no, it gets blown up before anybody can touch it. So, leading the charge, he takes a lot of damage, gets slashed in time. In this exchange, he might be using much, much earlier. Olga going down for the cost, but if it leads them get the second point here. It's worth it. Nobody died though. So maybe the bus crew wants to just throw themselves at the second. Anyway, there's sticks all over the place. No <laughs> and poison takes in front of that. And that is it. Ellie is still in the forward spawn. Just trying to see if he can snipe somebody, but nope, Domo is safe and at best he could kill Crayon here. We we'll keep peeking him. But nobody is hitting anything at the moment. Two scouts on him now. Oh that sounds very good. Well X is now on him. <laughs> Keeping the shutter door open but he's not getting anything done. And they might just forget about him, and I feel like at this point that's what Ellie's banking on. I just think about the damage right now in spawn, but one it looks like Olga and oh, Olga and Smear goes down. Ali takes a crayon, but yeah, crayon is hype as well, it's three down already. While oh, Rafku is just walking this in. Xy just gets out by the skinny teeth and two HP. But Rafku, look that's at him, he just at some point went spy, I didn't even realize he's just standing there waiting for the opportunity. Control point is being contested. This is a good opportunity for him right now. 
Well, he might as well just settle with Ali, but no, Raf wants the big kill. Who cares about the sniper when you can get the medic? Raf wants to be in the frag movie. He's in, he's crouching, he's being friends. Sorry, he's... there. Everybody's around oh, him. He's bumped. Oh, he bumped into him. That's Raf out of the picture for now. Get sniped by Ali as well. So Ali now on a 2k on the sniper. Two Without shot. any of them being headshots, yeah. <laughs> Why well, go with the flashy stuff if you can go with consistency and... He keeps trying. Now on the offensive end here, on mid. Just wait for people to peek the sideline while the scouts are there to protect him from people jumping him. So that is the way they're gonna go about this. And they keep going more and more forward, Raf. And in fact, that's everybody basically on Tiny Summer Rhythms is just walking their way confidently to not die there to the sniper and pace off in the end. They push him back a little bit, but the sniper, as long as the mat is there, can just keep trying and trying all over again. Uh, I mean, all this is gonna be contesting. Like, the oh, yawn against Axie. Oh my, Ali's still holding the set light. Oh, he's getting spammed out, in fact. Takes any, I think it was a pipe he just took there. Yeah, that was a lot of damage from like two different people, but still not enough, unfortunately, for. I need some return, so no kills being had there, and they just keep holding on to this. But the sniper just makes our life so much more uncomfortable. I I need a fan, but as we as we can see, uh, Alex still holding Victor, still there. Uber R, uh, Uber is equal not R equal. Um, Ali taking spam, and just taking spam. That's they put it. Ali in the little death corner here, but nobody can keep fighting him because. All of the bus crews just protect him. In. So Ali does stay alive despite being stuck in that corner. Which is really nice for his team. No long waiting time for anything regarding his respawn. And they can just keep trying over and over. Until they oh. get the shot, which is just about now. <laughs> what a shot down, there. Ali gets that, and that's the kill they want to make moves with. But Tiny Samaritans are just ki still contesting the aggressive view. It's Merrick, it's dropped. Nice focus fire there. Getting the kill onto the demo man. This is something they really needed. So like Uber's going to be traded right now, Ali going to go down to Ogre's Rockets, but, you know, scrappy fight, they're going to need to try and get out through the big door right now, or they're just going to run back in, it's whatever they feel like. They're going to try and eat, they're going to stick you up shit right now, no one's going low low. Oh, Raf, what a rocket. The Raf is quite weak of himself, but it's the scouts, Domo and Ixi come from above, Lucas is kind of trapped in between two scouts right now. Can Creon get Martin? Martin's like 20 HP, oh. Not bye just bye. Scouts and the Solid just trying to do the hardest here. They're dealing a lot of damage, getting Ixi. But is that enough? Not at the moment. Ali is just trying to escape here, but he's kind of. Ooh, he's not too weak to jump. Oh my. That man knows about jumping, you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, that push into second was just such a wasted opportunity. They had everything going for them once they had the two kills, including at that moment. But they just went for like an exchange straight up instead of trying to just force Ben Lua out of the other team. And nobody played choke until late, where Poison jumped in, but his jump was badly timed, so he didn't actually get anything with that. And now it's all on the red team to make the push happen here, and they're not gonna wait. They're just going forward, they're getting Poison, they're take, getting all the position here on second. And everybody else is just far back in lobby, and Ali's still spamming from top, but he's not really finding anything. Ooh, that's a drop! A spam by from, Do uh, from Yon even onto Dobo! Drops the Medic! Pascal will just be all over that, they're straight into lobby, they're not gonna waste any time here, they have Crayon dead as well, so that's too big to push off as well. They're just gonna make sure they're not back up, so Yon is tanked from lobby, poison that with him as well after he just respawned. Ellie goes deep to get the Wrath kill there, but that's worth it as it just makes pushing into mid here a lot easier. Yeah, I think they've got a big uber to that, but big uber ad, also they're gonna try and cap mid and just take it to choke. Lucas just running in right now. Ali jumping to rock. What's the good trying to take up right now? They are, you know, red team is in river quite quite far forward, but we're gonna try and get out to the river quite now. Oh sorry, bats do but Yeah, just threatening this advantage forward, not having to use makes us so much better and they do have this advantage for last and that's exactly what they're trying to do here. Pushing straight in, taking down the not built sentry gun. They don't have second yet, so they can't play the point just yet. In fact, they're just heading straight for the devil man. Demo down, Crayon and uh, as Pyro on the point, taken down immediately to just melt by two scouts instead. They forced the Eber here because it all took quite a while before they finally reached Domo, so 
the Uber gives them a lifeline, but is it enough? As the Uber fades and spawns, still not having come back in. Poison jumps the point with Yon just threatening position with sticks. And that is enough to win this round. Plus, go back on the board. That was a good play to the last day. They just waited. And they knew they could do it because the spawns weren't up. They just kind of jumped in. And that was them. A really nicely done off of the ad. And with that tight game again on 18 minutes left. What these teams have to offer for the mid for Tiny Samutans are just storming the enemies on enemy side. Also they try, but they take a lot of damage for Luz Vixie early. And Ali is just jumping them straight up, but he gets taken down pretty quickly there himself. Olga jumps over to death of the market, but he's not really hitting anything. Trades in the end. But on the other side it's just Dormo left alone and Sorg just straight on his tail. That's a complete wipe right there, oh my god. Yeah, thanks, Doc. It's a size of mid win and nicely done. By the Basku, they can take second off of that, obviously, as well, with a lot of uber advantage to play into the last point. So, Tiny Samaritans need a strong defense here. Ixi up on the engineer, trying his hardest to hold the push off. Crayon on the pyro class was one slap for a second, decided against it. So, that is the class of choice here. And we mentioned it pre game, it can deny an uber a lot if not focused down properly. So, they need some of that just now. Yeah, definitely, but it looks like they might be taking it through Shutter. Yes, they are, they're going to be taking it through Shutter right now. Just, just Pyro just completely reflected everything, but it doesn't matter. Yawn gets the sentry net, scouts on the point, Smear pops his sticks and gets him down. It's like, ooh, Yawn is but early on the heavy on the push here, that's interesting, but they still lost three people so early. Ooh, it's only Ali made in right now. Oh no, Crayon has to get out. But Creon's gonna chase Martin, or well, Martin's gonna get out and Creon's And he is just him. getting these kills though, he deals so much damage and he might just turn his round arrow onto him as well, he stays oh, alive, Domo. but Domo hits the saw, stays alive with the uber charge and now it's just all onto Ixi and he gets the early kill eventually. They left him alive, probably for a little bit longer than they wanted to, but it touches around, ooh, Lucas just walks back in, gets Domo as the uber fades, Zorg's in his world, doesn't get much with his life though. Uh, that that made uber saw, I would say, Help them if they were, you know, 80 percent. But wasn't really paying attention. To be honest, I was looking at the heavy. They're going to get the defenses set back up. NG and Pyro. To be fair, that was probably one of the most effective heavy last pushes I've seen in quite a while, and it still didn't work. So that doesn't speak much for heavy last pushes I've seen recently. It did survive quite a while, but it was above. It heavy. did so much, but they just lost too many people too quickly at the beginning of the push. Level two is up. They're going to use Uber in straight away. Pyro doesn't quite get the sentry, he was jumped uh, hit up, Crayon just goes down, Smear, get, Smear goes down as well, they're all on the point. <laughs> Ooh, look his pretty voice pocket, so give us, oh what a pipe for Yon, oh my Jesus. And suddenly, Ali back on soldier and it looks like it just has so much more damage, much more quicker and this will end the round pretty much immediately. 15 minutes left, Basku back in the lead, 2-1. That bit advantage they knew they could take that back quite comfortably compared to see what they were doing before because they did get domo uh when they did push before but they are in so far so straight on ali as well on the side of red just getting smear nice view rocket on him it doesn't quite get him scouts are also heavily defending right now because you know ooh, raf is underneath right now ali and poison i'll take a fight on but poison goes down but, ooh, Looks like three picks. To Domo goes down as well. Oh no. Once the Basku just have the kill on the lower area, they just all stomp across the point together. Really nice damage. Jonathan has got this. so much damage so quickly. The Lucas still chasing down people, getting through incredibly late. But given the Captain on attack on uh, mid, even it might not come into play for us. Still, really good fight on mid for them. Just walking over them once they had control of the lower area and not have to worry about being jumped by somebody. So nicely done for the bus crew and see if they can keep that going. And I see again an Ali Putis on the field. Also the same defenses as before on Sid Red, just Sentry, Pyro, Yara Yara. But they are going to try the heavy push once again. 
see if it works a little bit better this time. They really only needed to have people up at the end for the heavy to do what it needed to do. And the push is coming in here. And this time it's looking quite a bit better. So it just parks himself on a point. Heavy might not even need to come into play as they're just getting the kills regardless of that. Yeah, I was like Smear the only one up right now, but he's, he doesn't quite get sticks. They deaded in time, and uh, that's going to be another round for the bus crew. Like the heavy in the end it wasn't quite required, but still nice to have in the back lines. Well, it looks the usual. Uh, see if they can get control of the low ground once again. Raft, ooh, I like taking out Raft right now. But they do trade, in fact, but it looks like two, two are down on the side of Red. Domo goes down. Oh my Jesus. What a shot. Ooh, now a big pipe by Yonder. Text on Exhibit. That's only Kranger left alive. He wants to get mad and he gets it just in time before oh. Yon can take his life. That was a class shot right there, man. Oh my Jesus, that was something else. Both maps down, blue won the mid fight, so they can just keep going even without heals. Domo is back up, but he only has two people to heal right now. So, power to contest, he's not too strong. And Yon even gets the sticky trap kill onto Olga Pyro down. Who wants to off classes? We have a heavy, we don't need your pyro. And with that, one down. They don't take second though, they didn't have enough up in the end to want to commit to that position. But they want to keep trying with the one pick they have. And he's just jumping around. Man. Ah, that's a good get, you know, Kraem taking him out. That's two pets. Going down as well, yeah. Sorix is behind lines as well, and he got spotted. Ixi got some good damage onto him. Can he win the fight? Oh, yes, he does. Three down now. Sack place is where the blue team kind of crumbles, it seems. Once again, three down here with little to nothing gained with it. So, midpoint lost while trying to make some stuff happen on yourself. Not a good look. And Olga's still on the pyro class. Told you. The Dragon's Fury also on the field. I haven't seen that in quite a while. Dragon, oh no. Yeah, and Uber exchanged this in the end. And with the demo went down, it's already not looking too well. Ellie protects himself with some help of poison. All you're coming in late. The only teams up one of them. But uh, can that actually change the situation so far? Sorix goes down while Yon and him wanted to push the door, but that's not quite happening. Yon also incredibly weak to do fire damage. Gets cleaned up by the scout. Lucas just came onto the fight, came onto the fight as sniper, but he already gets crushed by Ixie just behind lines. Oh my god, Exe just doing work right now into the hack line. Does, he's doing the damage, Rose is there to clean up. Olga's actually there to clean up, in fact. Going in with a Dragon's Fury. Ali's quite weak, by all you know, on fire. And did a rocket jump. He's, he just gets an arrow there, but Martin, 12 HP. Mm. Nearly. Nearly. Let's see if the Dragon's Fury power can then put in some more work for them. Definitely Lucas wants to have a word about that though. He's on sniper. Why go close against the fire when you can just sit back and snipe him for 150 damage if not more? Yeah, it does he even have the uh, danger shield on, which I think is unbanned as well, I think. Because um, it's not broken anymore. But Olga is just going to flank them on point right now. Oh, get Sorex. Sorex goes down to the Dragon's Fury. A nice wee trade there. In the meantime, Ali is just desperately trying to build a sentry here. They don't want to lose this round. They are just comfortable sitting on last. Lucas also on Pyro now. So, a more classic hold here. Coming out of Bus Crew, and let's see what the Tiny Summer Rhythms have in store to break this. It's been a while since they've been in this position. So, let's see what their idea is of pushing this. They have the sentry and Pyro, but Ali, ooh, maybe sentry up a wee bit. Oh, he's gonna go back. Maybe he's just protected it for spam. Yep, he's protected it for spam. Oh, scout goes out. Oh. No one was watching water, but... It's it went down as well, which is worth mentioning. That's two picks, including the demo man. They want to do something with this bus crew here. Yeah, that that's... Space and lobby as well in the top area. Lucas is into early though. All alone gets taken down. That's one kill. Raph is taking by 2v1. Well, poison on heals even, but still not... Going too well for him, Poison takes Big Rock by Olga coming to help, so he's forced back a little bit here. And eventually, all of this forward position is just given up with the Lucas kill. Poison in the fight with Ralph still, after all the time, ending up trading. One for one, they're both losing a soldier. Sentry's 
up for Addy in the middle of the point. Luke is just in time to protect it. Well, he's gonna move it. I'm not. pretty sure Lucas was on the Dragon's Fury for a second, but he switched back to the flamethrower. Yeah, looks like Axie's in water right now. Ali does spot him. There is a sentry literally below the point right now, or like just behind it. Yeah, Interesting spot. Ali's on 1 HP again. Oh, the Vasquez making a good job of defending you. They found Olga all alone in Riverside. Take him out pretty quickly, two picks again, Ixie almost up, but they still want to take some space here. Nice pipe by Smith and the second one to close out the kill. Zoix down, and whatever small opening there was is pretty much gone at this point with this one kill here. Yeah, now that the red team have spawners, but, you know, fair enough, there's only one down for the side of red. Lucas is actually going in and just out through Shutter. No, I don't think there was any sticks here, there wasn't, luckily for him. Tiny summer returns. Every time they want to make a move, there's just bus two players waiting them, taking them out one by one. Lucas, speaking of making moves here, is making some himself on Pyro, but not too successfully so far. No off class is coming out of the tiny summer returns either, so they don't want to approach this vanilla, but send me in Pyro. Don't make it easy for them. Ooh, Olga gets the kill onto Ali while he was moving his sentry in a really specific spot far four. Rob wants to play the point at the same time, not quite gonna happen, but they're just walking in. Ixie makes the force happen and we just walks to the point while everybody was too busy getting the counter force out of Domo. Uh, no one paid attention to the point, but that's around that's around to what is it again? I forgot the name the red team. There we go. What colours? That's the second round for the tiny summer returns. Just sneaking away with that one, just barely ever. Who needs fancy stuff for now? So if you can just walk in, get the pause, and get the point as well. All in the same move. 3 2, another mid fight. And Tiny Samaritan still want to take the enemy side, and they're dealing so much damage early. Ixi down, Yon down. Sure, Ralph went down for that, but that's worth it for now, as long as they keep Domo alive. Poison and Annie want to jump Domo. Oh, and Domo! Get it, Completely destroyed it there. That's. That's a, that's a mid to the Tiny Samaritan. It's Tiny Samaritan. I can't pronounce that. Too many words in it. Or letters in it, sorry. Mid one, maybe, but met down as well, it makes it a lot harder to keep this position they have right now. Sure, they're going to get time on second, but how long can they stay here? The backup potentially is what makes the strapping, and Olga is already in position in Riverside to make them be raw yet, but everybody just finds an ADD to that. Olga down, and with that, they definitely need to make some moves out of last year if they don't want to get stuck there for the longest time. That's what they're just going to get in the point and just they're going to need to get out in mid right now. They're going to go to their side of the point. They're going to be building right now because it looks like the blue team do have a big, nice uber advantage right now. Yeah, and I don't want to waste some time here. Yon and Martin to drop down while everybody else went top, but Lucas actually dies for their draft. He's awaiting them though, gets the force, will go down in the end, but that's worth it here in this eyes and that's it go force onto the bus too. And Tiny Samaritan is just walking back in. Yon really far forward. Ali kills Crayon, but <laughs> is just cleaning them up in return. Sorix just in through shock, gets one kill straight. No, oh, can he stay alive? No, he can't. Sorix gets the kill before Axie cleans him up. Oh, Sorex. Axie just couldn't uh, get him, but yeah, he gets Domo. Well, Crayon gets Domo. Wait, how, how would Sorry. Crayon kill Domo? <laughs> no, that's a good point. Why am I saying Crayon? What's my brain thinking? What is the connections going on here? What's yeah, happening here? Wait, Domo died, and Martin might have also oh. been forced to skin, but he can just walk back in with his advantage now, his players keep position on mid aggressively, they want to fight this, they want to have this point quickly, they're getting good damage, Ixie just all alone, forward, that gets taken down, Crayon as well, stepping a little bit out of line, taking so much damage forward, everybody had just pushed back into choke with some more spam. Yeah, Olga was trying to get some shots to the detonator out, just try to get, I don't know, deny the healing, I guess? Well, detonator doesn't like flames the extra, but it looks like they're going to be going through big door now. See the med and poison and that through there right now. Sorry, it's on a big flank. Oh. He actually wins one fight. Though. Ali gets out Domo. Oh my! Well, that's a big one. Oh, what a what a play for you, Ali! And look at them; they're playing it so safe now. They know people would most likely come their way if they just wanted to move in immediately, and they don't want to use. So they're just waiting on mid before the spawns are coming back in and protecting Martin for any potential play. Slowly they're making the moves through 
choke, but nobody on Tiny Samaritans anywhere close to that anymore. They're just gonna go to last, setting up a defense because they would need one. Three minutes left is enough time to slow the game down if you wanted to, but Fast Q didn't strike me as a team that wanted to, to be honest. Yeah. Looks like they're going to be taking it in any second now, since they know they have uber advantage. They're going to use it through main right now, they've got to check if anyone's shut up, no one's there. Get this sentry down instantly, but Yon jumping in with the sticks. Pixie on top of the point, not much is happening. Olga does go down to Sorex, Sorex on the point, well, Lucas was on the point and dies to the smear sticks. Domo's just got a heal smear right now, but Poison is really weak, he's only 50 HP, he's waiting for the arrow or something like that. He gets finally arrowed, he's going to jump up, not much going to come out. The Three were down on the side of red. You get one spawner. We could see it's on one. We're on the point, but Miller wins that 7k for him. And no fancy play for Yon here. Everybody else just moved back to safety. They don't want to take risks, seeing as Domo does have the super now. See see that, up there. Yeah, they're trying to just push out here with the super. Martin doesn't quite have yet, so they're playing it safe. And with two minutes left, they don't want to make it into a golden cap on Fasco, but obviously Tiny Samaritans clearly want it. So they keep going through Scuba into mid. <laughs> Goes deep, not really finding him out because Master just pops in the face. Olga Smirre both down after the Super face for them. Crayon taken down in the lower area as well. That's three down. Uber charge went terrible for the rep team, and Blue can just take so much space away from them. And we're back to the last once again. We lost a lot of players there pushing into that mid, unfortunately. That's just going to give, you know, blue team a nice excuse to just kind of play it slow now. They have 1 minute 30, but they're not going to be taking any of this slow down nonsense. They're going to be in through main, no questions asked. They're just, no, oh, Lucas and Ali, oh my. Guess the mid, Asa White, oh, GG, Asa that is, GG. Yeah, that's the game, the... Tiny Samaritans had no reason to play it slow, as you mentioned. They, they were forced to keep going. With a minute left, they just needed to have a strong push of sorts to make it out of last and at best quickly to the other last. But moves like this is where teams crumble, and this is no exception. Full wipe on last, quick round for the bus group 4 2 with a minute left. This is GG, and we'll just see a nice little bit fight here at the end. Cap this game off. Here we go, boys. For the logs. Smear and choke. Sorak takes him down. As X is just running his sniper to mid, gets Lucas. Yep, that was good. Good match. Pretty close one, but Basku again coming back from a lead of Tiny Samaritans and make it back to 4 2. And yeah, they're winning the semi finals, and we will see them in the grand finals of this Essentials Monthly Cup. Yeah, so to them, and unfortunate for Tiny Samaritans, leaving this tournament as third slash fourth. Yeah, just a little bit of that time frames for another few seconds, and there we go. Drusko takes it four two in just two maps, and with that, they are moving on to the grand finals. Yep, uh, we can check the logs if you want. Uh, should we run an ad break? Wait. Go logs in, smiley face. Well, I need to open and there we go. What do we have here? Oh, yawn. Oh, my. That is big damage. That's exactly what I was talking about before the game started. Yes, it's the demo map, but you still need to perform here. And Yon certainly out its mirror here in just pure stats alone. 3280, 382 damage per minute. That is some incredible stuff. And the scouts also doing really well. We mentioned like you swap out one good scout for another one for Sorix, and Sorix definitely delivered as well. Yeah, blue scouts are just outstanding, as you can tell by the logs. Uh, especially Sorex, 8k damage. Whew. Definitely not a log damage game at all. 
So yeah, props to them there and really impressive performance all around. Yeah, look at the kill difference between blue and red. Blue got like 107 kills and red only got 74. And the damage was like, you know, like at least seven, no, even seven K, yeah, seven K more. I just look at how much of that comes from Yon alone, though. Yeah, that's obviously some big boy numbers. And like, look at that, like almost every mid fight went to the Basku as well, just a single one didn't, and they still won that round in the end. So they started off each round really convincing. A couple of times it was a little bit weird with the match dying and the other team winning a bit, but overall, I don't think that changes too much about that statistic. So just really great mid fights from them. Uh, uh, also, Iron Bomber's not uh, Iron Bomber. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather not comment on it. <laughs> All right, and a quick look over at the bracket will show us that our grand finals matchup will be seven versus Basku seven one, also in two maps over Robros. So Robros also finishing as third slash fourth with Tiny Summer Returns, and seven will be heading into the best of three series for the grand finals for this big boy. Thousand euro price pool, or well, first place gets six hundred of those, so well over half of that. And yeah, they're gonna go into the best of three soon enough. And until then, we're gonna have a quick break until the game is ready, and we'll see you after that. <laughs> That's not a knife. Now that's a knife. Oh, mad. STN Trading for the discerning gentle person. <laughs> 